Today's video is sponsored by AnyTrans. The AnyTrans software is now available to download for free for a limited time, so take advantage of it now. Links will be in the description. With AnyTrans, you can manage all of your files on your iPhone. You can even transfer data between devices, and they have also other tools that allow you to create ringtones, download application, and even screen mirror your iPhone's display. So take advantage. Again, links will be in the description for a limited time. You can download AnyTrans absolutely free. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I want to share with you guys a few iPhone tricks you probably didn't know exist. Things on your iPhone that you probably didn't know your iPhone could do. Now I post these videos at least once a month. You guys seem to enjoy them a lot, so here's another episode. Today I want to start off with music. We all enjoy music on our iPhones, of course, but did you know you can actually make your music louder on your iPhone by going to the music extension and changing the EQ? So select EQ here. And if you select the late night option, this will actually make your music louder on your iPhone. Now, one thing to also note, if you stream music to your car's radio, for example, you're most likely using the cell data. So under cell data options, you also may want to enable high quality streaming. This will give you the best audio quality for your Apple Music. Now, keep in mind, this will use more data. So if you do not have an unlimited data plan, I don't recommend it, but if you do, high quality streaming, and that EQ option will help make your music a lot louder and nicer and better to listen to on the go. Now to this day, believe it or not, in Control Center, not many users know that you can 3D touch on these platters to get additional options. With the flash, most users just tap on it, and this is the full blast of the actual brightness, as you can see there. But you can 3D touch and actually adjust that brightness. So we can go all the way up to full brightness, or we can go down here, to a very subtle light. This is more useful at night. Of course, you don't want to blast that light here at night. So you can go to the control center and adjust gradually the flash on your iPhone by holding on the flash just like so. Pretty cool option as well. Next, I want to talk about keyboard shortcuts. Many users do know that if you long press on a letter, sometimes you have additional options here if you have more than one language set up for the keyboard. But if you switch it over to numbers, you also have additional extensions here. Say for the numbers here, for the uh, actual dollar sign, you have different types of options here to choose from for different types of currencies around the world. But did you know you can also do this with the numbers? So for example, if you're typing 70 and you hold on to zero and you wanna talk about degrees, there it is, 70 degrees, just like so. So all these numbers and characters do have, or not all of them, but most of them do have additional options when you long press on them, just like the zero does and just like the dollar sign. Next, I wanna talk about hotspot because the hotspot on your iPhone can actually be shared with family members if you go to the family share options and you can actually automatically have these devices connect to the hotspot if you choose to do so. So if you have a, a group of family members here, you can select here to choose automatically. So when you enable the hotspot, let's say you're in a family trip or something, when you turn that on and you're on the go, everybody connects automatically. You don't have to be prompting on their devices to connect or their devices won't be prompting you to connect. You can set it to automatic and they will connect automatically. And of course, you know that on hotspots, you can also change the password if you need to do so. So go into the hotspot settings options, go to Wi-Fi password here. You can actually type any password that you would like to change that on your hotspot as well. Now I get this question a lot, how to change the voicemail password on your voicemail for your line. So you wanna to go to settings, you wanna to go to the phone extension, then you wanna scroll all the way down, right here it is, change voicemail password. This will ask you to enter a brand new password for your voicemail. Very simple, very quick option here, but a lot of users do ask about that one. Now, if you have a U1 enabled device, so iPhone 11, iPhone 11 Pro or 11 Pro Max, did you know that when you go to share an image, for example, so if I wanna go ahead and share this image here, I can go ahead and point this device to that U1 enabled device. So take a look here, you see this arrow, if you point it, you can actually prioritize the device that you want to enable. That's why you have that arrow there. So this would actually uh, prioritize that device that you're pointing at and would actually send files a lot quicker. So for example, I have an iPhone 11 here and let's go ahead and unlock this device. Let me show you here. So you see there it says raise iPhone. So if I point it over to the iPhone 11, you see that? it prioritizes the device. So it's a really cool option for you want enabled devices to send data a lot quicker. 
And last but not least, I want to talk about messages. In messages, did you know you can actually do quick replies by 3D touching on a message thread? Just like that, you'll get pre-selected options or you can send a custom message, of course, but you can 3D touch and quick reply to a message. And in messages, of course, you can also select a particular Memoji and Memoji name and character. So for example, you get this option here where you can choose and you have several options. Of course, you have some preloaded options. You have your iCloud image. But if you select this option here, you can actually change your Memoji right there and select from any of the characters here or adjust any of the Memojis that you currently have available by clicking continue here. And you can choose from any of these options right here. A lot of users were asking about this one. Of course, you can set any sticker, any Memoji sticker or name to the iMessage so you can use it as an iMessage uh, Memoji character. So there you guys have it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys learned something from this one. Thank you for watching and I'll see you real soon. Peace.